My name is Vera Omochadinda. I, among other things, I'm a book editor and a writer and author of a couple of books. My first book was Maria and the Tomatoes. It's a children's story for the age rather classes uh, two, three. And my second book series is the revision series for the English Catapult published by Insemia Publishers. It's paper one, paper two, and paper three. And then I contributed a short story to this anthology. It's called The, the Cry of the Crow and Other Stories. There are other stories by revered writers like look, Professor Goro Wakamau, Professor K.W. Wamitila, and Ngangambugo, among others. It's for young adults. I also did this um, Longhorn English Literacy Activities. It's co-published with four other writers. Uh, it's for the new curriculum. It's published by Longhorn Publishers. This is my newest book. It's called Wendell Tours Nairobi County. One of the series we are doing for the tourism uh, sector in Kenya for young adults as well, because we don't get a lot of that other than the geography classes we do. We wish to do content on different counties and what they have to offer in terms of local tourism, but in an interesting way for young adults in a story adventure series. Kind of. Yes. I have an ebook on Amazon. It's a short story called The Crescent Moon. It's published by uh, Lacaes Books in Italy. I started writing in 2016 um, and it's been of course a, a growth journey. Uh, you get to learn so much along the way in terms of writing and as you progress in your writing, your writing keeps growing. So that's what has happened to me as well, uh, more like every other writer. I, from 2015 now I can say um, I feel more uh, mature in terms of my writing and even with what I'm currently working on and even more. I'm the publishing manager at Writers Guild and that means uh, taking on scripts or content, written content, and most of the time turning into books or whatever that needs to be come out of it. But mostly we publish books and I'm in charge of overseeing the whole publication process from evaluation to editorial to design work and to the point of getting a book. I am a certified reader, with due respect. I read, I read every time, every chance I get to read. I mean, reading has built me like single-handedly, well, no, perhaps not single-handedly, but reading has built me immensely. So it's, it's this, it's part of who I am, and that means it's not even a habit, it's part of me, so. I get to read every chance I get. I have a stack of unread books at my place. And I'm always reading. I do three books a month on average scale. Sometimes I do more, sometimes, depending on what I have on my hands, maybe less. As a writer, I keep trying to get my works out there by reaching out to uh, people in the industry by reaching and of course being that I'm in the industry the publishing industry it helps but also by trying to get net build a network of readers uh, even through even through the books that have been traditionally published so trying to talk about my books when I wasn't very confident but I'm trying to talk about my books more I'm trying to post them as often as I can and I'm also by building myself I mean it's not perhaps not very intentional but I also I mean by blogging by writing for the newspaper it also helps me build my my brand as a writer Writing has done for me, perhaps has done for me what I could not have been able to do by myself. And that is the people that I've met, the people that I've worked with, the, the networks, the travels, or sometimes for just research, sometimes for, uh, like I would talk about this opportunity I got to go to Italy in 
last year in 2018 and it was because or because of writing because i wrote a story and the italian embassy which was sponsoring the workshop thought that i had something they liked and so they sponsored me to go for a workshop in italy and it was on historical fiction because that's what the workshop was centered around and it was a great great opportunity even just learning i sat there and listened to authors talk about their works talk about the research they they take to write books about uh, historical figures and countries as well and also networking also just getting the chance to travel and eat italian pizza and italian wine to young writers, I would say that there is no deadline to getting published, there is no deadline, there is no finish line to, to try and make it there earlier. So I think patience is really something that is very important for us young writers to learn. And also, if it's possible, please try not to set the date of the launch before you see the book, especially if you are self-publishing. If you want to self-publish, I've found that it's a very liberating journey and I would say that don't try to do everything by yourself. Don't be the editor, don't be the designer, don't be anything. Your job is to write. So after you've written, find the people who can help you do your book and also lower your, lower your expectations with regards to the market, to how many copies you're going to sell to your Facebook friends. Do what you can, but get the best service that you can and try to work with people. Try to be, you know, someone people can work with. Self-publishing doesn't mean everything you say goes. It doesn't mean that now you, you can get whatever kind of content you want out there or whatever kind of content that is not ready for the market. So find people who can review your book before you even present it to anyone. Find a group of friends, possibly readers or editors who can help you to work on your book. Mm -hmm.